Good morning, Cyber Traders. Welcome on this February 28th, the last day of the pay period. What the hell does that mean, right? The last day of the pay period. Good to see you, Tim, Lawrence, Mark, Gene. Look at all of Gary, good to see you all. Good morning, everybody. Donna, good to see you. Leanne, good, good. And all the Cyber Traders, welcome back for the last day of the pay period. What the hell does the last day of the pay period mean? This is the last day of the month. So I'm telling you, I got a decent list right here, but I just want to give you guys a little heads up. It's probably not going to be an exciting day because a lot of people don't like to come out with news the last day of the pay period as traders. Actually, some of us probably think, wait a minute, but today's Thursday. Isn't tomorrow last day of the pay period is Friday that's the no it goes on the last day when they get their commission checks um, you know they don't want to you know companies don't like to you know spill things over on the first of the month so I want you guys to be very very careful we speak very uh, a, a lot about this in our classes and we've seen it sometimes we do a class at these type of days and uh, we've noticed that by the way yesterday's class um, it, let me tell you I know that they, uh, a lot of you that are here are pretty advanced, have taken the classes with C2s for so long, and sometimes you really just want to go back and review the videos because you're too busy trading because we do the phase three at the most volatile times of the market, which is the first hour and the last hour. But I'm telling you right now, if you, are, if you did not show up uh, because you're too busy trading, go to the recording. It will be up uh, today. You got to review yesterday's um, – two phase three classes they were off the charts i mean I, you can't even make this shit up i excuse my french but honestly you can't i mean the things that happen just like you you, you know the, the the big thing that we do when we do phase three is that it's very hard to do things in the real mark conditions you know you can't predict things that could happen it just was a perfect storm we just had some great great examples the vsm was amazing going into the close i mean that was awesome um the actually the best one was the ftr uh the ftr i'll tell you it was just ridiculous ftr ft um tr let me just bring this up this stock couldn't play a better market maker trap when we hit that resistance levels at 350 and with all the Fausto flags that were going on it was just a perfect perfect storm and you just you know and let me tell you the big thing is you know when you're teaching classes and you're trying to like bounce around try to make things work and remember the classes is not about making money it's about learning how to lose money so you're not doing that anymore but you know sometimes we find some big winners and we need to show you a couple of big winners uh, remember the winners take care in the cyber group and the losers we worry about in here uh, but this thing just worked out perfectly and you know I look at the cyber group room I saw one of you say hey Fausto you know uh the uh whatchamacallit the uh the ftr is moving and sure enough boom thing popped and it was just a great example so when you got when you guys get a chance review definitely review that recording of that class uh, um for all of you all right now there were a couple other ones that did pretty well weight watchers got crushed crushed yesterday uh, i mean this thing is just like when it rains it pours and let me tell you if you didn't see the writing on the wall as a day trader and if you're one of those swing traders right now you got destroyed right now in weight watchers it was fun we got a couple of bounces but honestly the other ones were a little bit easier to trade so, and one really good one which like i said it was just like endless yesterday what about overstock overstock went from like 18 to 21 it just didn't stop it thing was just like boom 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 kept going up uh then when it finally found its sweet spot around three o'clock it backed off from 21.50 to 20 dollars. but by the way you got to be a pretty advanced trader to trade this stock another killer this was probably the best one yesterday. SE, where the hell did this come from, right? We these were and and yesterday I told you these were my two favorite stocks. It actually was the SE and the FTR, and they both moved up beautifully. This one right out of the gate went from 1850 right to 2050. Some of you are done within 30 minutes, and then you know two o'clock I made a last minute push 20 to 22. How much more you guys could eat? You know what I mean? I mean, listen, we, some of us, when I look at it, make two, three dollars a trade. Some of us buy a thousand shares, make 50 cents. There's your hundred thousand dollar salary. But that one also was great. And then the list keeps going on and on. Xnet. Where did this one come from? This stock got destroyed from four to 26. Yesterday, another big runner. Um, so anyway, I'm just bringing up these stocks. 
to kind of just get you guys to realize that every day is a new day. Here's another one that did really well, C uh, CLVS. Stock went from 26 to 30. Where do you find that? I know you didn't see that on CNBC News um, or Fox Business. So anyway, that's what we do here. And for everybody, listen, don't worry about it. Every day is a new day. That's the past. Let's focus on what's moving this morning. But a lot of guys did really, really wet. well. And by the way, Ken, that's right. Ken, Ken is saying the, the famous Fausto words, buy one stinking share. You know, I was talking to somebody yesterday um, and, uh, you know, actually it was it was the other day and I'm going to repeat it again. The, somebody took a class with somebody else. All right. And they've been on demo mode for six months, six months. I'm like, wait a minute. Did they not just tell you buy one share? They're like, well, not really. I just I'm not ready yet. One share is going to hurt you. I mean, you don't get any skin in the game. You're not going to learn. That's what it comes down to, you know. So you got to get some skin in the game, guys. One share. That's all you have to do is trade one share. Um, Ken says the hell with them. Listen, you know what? I don't know. I don't want to go there right now because I'll just I, I don't want to spoil our day. We got we got a, we got we got about uh, 15 minutes before the market opens up and I want to go through this watch list. But we'll talk about that maybe at 12 o'clock today when I do open house again. VSM is back on the watch list. I forgot to mention VSM. Uh, VSM was also a great trade yesterday. I guess the the thing was about the buyout with uh, with this stock right here. We did really well on the stock yesterday going to the close. A couple of little shakes. Not my cup of tea trading a stock that's at $49, but we did pretty well on that. I'm actually putting it back on the watch list. I forgot to mention this one. This also was a great stock that we traded in the afternoon. SQBG. This stock had a really big pop this morning, but now it's on a downtrend. So... You know, the stock is trading a lot of volume. You know, it's up um it's up pretty nicely. Hold on, why why can't I see my uh stock is up pretty nicely. You know, it's got some nice movement here. You know, um it's uh, you can see it's gapped up nicely, you know, up uh was up about I don't know, 20 percent or something like that. But uh keep an eye on this one. This one doesn't look that bad. I like this one also. This one is pretty good. All right, Mithor, this one on our watch list. SQBG. Oh, I got that one. I wrote that one. Uh, RKDA is another one that's moving pretty nicely. This one is gapped up pretty big. It's up 52%. Once again, it gapped up early and it's kind of backing down right now. So kind of a little turned off about this one right now. I don't know what what's going on with it, but I'm a little, a little cautious on that one. The other one is uh, the HZNP trade. This one also is up about 19%. Did I spell it wrong? Yep. Fat fingers, HZNP. You know, I had that problem yesterday. Some of us saw some good mistakes that I made yesterday uh, regarding about... Uh, you know, I had two execution systems up and running, and it was kind of hard to teach and trade when trying to trade at the same time because I really want to explain what's going on. And there was time, there was a position I I try I didn't have my I had a different uh, level two running a different execution because uh, you have two executions one on market one on limit. And I've got to put I've got to put the account number and I kind of hurt myself. But, you know, it's part of the growing pains, even I make mistakes. You learn every day. That's what that's what trading is all about. But uh, this one's up pretty nice, up 19 percent, up four bucks right now. It's backing off a little bit. Once again, this is what let's get me a little nervous with some of these stocks. They're not breaking. It's not like the other ones that we found in earlier. Another one that's moving pretty nice that's getting crushed right now is Crocs, those ugly shoes. I don't know. Listen, I know they came out with some new shoes. A lot of people love them. I, you know, I don't know. I can't find them. I'm not going to hold it against Crocs, but I still will trade it. Some people love it. Some people hate it. I'm not trying to be racist against Crocs shoes, but you know what? If I can make money trade, I'll trade the stock. Well, there's nothing. I'm a trader. Remember, that's what you learn here being a trader. It's not about, you know, oh, that company is uh, is selling drugs at ridiculous prices. I will never trade it. I'm a protester. You, listen, as a trader, you know, catastrophes make opportunities. So um, maybe get a little dead cap bounce. It'll look like it's going to probably test some support levels right around 25, which looks like it kind of did a little bit right now. So we'll keep an eye on that one. CELG. 
Another one that's moving a little bit nicely. This one's getting a little beat up right to, uh, also. This one is down about 7%, down $6.40. It's a little bit expensive, but it is coming up a little bit. The stock had a really nice run over here, you could see, but you got to be a little careful. Uh, we'll be careful with that one. Okay, let's hop over, hop over here in the New York Stock Exchange. Okay, you got, um, I don't know what's going on. I mean, yeah, they beat earnings, JCPenney, which we all know about. I thought they were actually out of business, actually, you know? Neil says the Crocs are good for gardening. <laughs> I guess everyone's got it has got something for uh got something for a tool, right? Um some people use it for slippers. I mean some people use it for I don't know, but anyway, it's pretty I guess you could use it for something, but apparently doesn't mean I'm not going to short it. Mark's laughing out loud and regarding about that comment. All right, so anyway, uh, J.C. Penney's. I thought the company was out of business. Actually, I didn't know this. They, they were fighting forever. You know, we've been trading this stock for a while. Very cheap stock, level one stock. Everybody could trade it. You could see, but you got to trade. A, there's a lot of shares on it. I don't know why they don't do a reverse stock split on the stock because there are a lot of outstanding shares. But look at the iceberg orders: fifteen thousand, twenty-three thousand, twenty thousand. Um, you got a 30,000 share seller. I see a lot more buyers and sellers, which is a very good sign. This actually is probably one of my favorite out of them all. Now, if you are a advanced trader and, you know, obviously trading these inexpensive stocks really don't do it for us, you could still trade, you know, you trade 10,000 shares of the stock. It's, it's 14,000. It's a lot cheaper than buying a 1,000 shares of, of a $14 stock. It comes out to be the same. So the, the volume, you know, it, it could still be made there. Another stock that's getting beat up is Box. This stock uh, taking a very big hit, down 21%. The stock right here is getting close to trading some support levels right here. A little bit on the fast move. You know, company, uh, you, know, it's, you know, like I said, take a very, very big hit here. We'll keep an eye on that one. Yes, well, one of you just mentioned the, uh, whatchamacallit, Hewlett Packer, right? Nice little short there, guys. Nice little short. Anybody have a... Anyone have a Hewlett Packer? HP? Anyone here have an HP? Ken says he's short. Tony says, yeah. Can I be honest with you? Uh, I'm not shocked the stock is down, okay? Um, it's got to be, the, you know, they have such a monopoly, but I think they make the worst printers. I think they break printers on purpose. Um, worst printer, I, 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 I don't know. I always, I always find I'm always buying a new one every every six months but uh I, I actually hopped on the brother train of uh printers but uh i gave up on printers years ago mario says jason agrees with me i have a great success with other computers even with the computers too yeah then listen i i'm not i i thought i was a fan of that stock but you could see i mean think about this for a second from 2017 out of all the stocks uh that made rallies Look where it went. We're from 14 to 26. I mean, give me a break. That is, a, that's a big move. We saw Nvidia. We saw, our, you know, um, uh, you know, we saw uh, what else we had. Nvidia. We saw, uh, uh, shoot, uh, Microsoft. Um, you saw uh, JD, Roku. I'm just looking at the list over here. AMD. A lot of the stocks did a hell of a lot better. But anyway, not really a big fan of it. So. Um, Looks like a nice short. The stock's taking a nice hit right here. So let's give what you call it. Who's Ken? You got the short on it? Let's give him a round of applause. Way to go, Ken. Pre-market's where it's at. All right, a couple of more really quick. We're running out. Fitbit, another one's taking a big hit. Once again, put your two cents in there. What do you think about Fitbit? But it is testing some support levels right here. Well, actually not. It's still got some more room to get beat up, but it is kind of holding right here. And if it does break it, they're there. Keep an eye on the iceberg orders. I'm already seeing 7,000, 4,000, 10,000 share buyers uh, on all different places. And last but not least, ICPT. Okay. This is the one you guys were looking at earlier. ICPT is gapped up pretty nicely. Uh, this stock had a big run. It went from 110 to 130, back down to 90. Now, this thing's like all over the place. Uh, I'm only bringing it up because if you are a level five trader, if you're one of the traders here that average maybe 2,500 a day, this is right up your alley, okay? If you're not if you're not a half a million dollar day trader, you know, plus, and yes, we do have some of those traders in here, but we don't brag, but, you know, but there are some people out there like, oh, look, I'm reading about it. This must be a good stock. Listen, this stock will take you to the cleaners, all right? Uh, the stock will destroy you, so be very, very careful. You got to be a very extremely talented um, cyber trader to trade this stock.
All right, guys. Anything I'm missing I did not call out. We got about uh, 12 minutes before the, before the market opens up. Ben's got the short on HP. Listen, a lot easier trading, a, uh, a, you know, HPQ than, you know, trading this uh, this stock right here, ICPT. But give you guys a round of applause. That's what it's all about. All right, everyone. La one last thing for Robert, the LTRA trade. You know what? The stock did really well. T I'm just looking at another scanner. The uh, why do I spell it wrong? You know the stock had a big pop after hours. It's got a really nice push. It's it's it, it's not really going anywhere. You could put this Robert on second protocol, but as of right now, you can see it's been trending down. It, it it had a great run. Like I told you, let's not try to talk about what happened yesterday. Let's fight. Let's focus on what new ones. But remember, it is the last day of the pay period. All right. Okay, guys. Listen. Good luck today. Happy trading. And uh, don't forget today at 12 o'clock we have open house. Remember, it's always great to you know see new traders, you know, and, and get their feedback and see the questions. Remember, you were one of them also. And let's just go out and try to just come out there and help support CTU if you got nothing to do. We always appreciate you guys being there. And then we'll see you back at uh, 2:30 for the afternoon meeting to trade the close. Be very careful today, guys. Don't let Thursday fool you. It is the last day of the pay period. So remember, nobody likes to do anything crazy on days like today. They want to finish out the month because February was a great month. All right, guys. Good luck today. Happy trading.